going to discuss about how to install MySQL Community Server 8.40 LTS on Windows operating system. To download this software in Google search box right there MySQL. Then you can go on this mysql.com site. Now let's scroll down. Then you can get here MySQL Community Server. Click this. Then uh, the recent version is 8.4. 0 LTS. Then you can get here two versions is there. So here you can select the operating system. So Windows that's fine. You can download MSI, MSI installer or GIF archive. So let's download here MSI installer. And let's click on this no thanks. So file is now downloading. Now you can see the file that's downloaded completed. So let's click on this MSI file. Okay. And on this place you can see welcome to my SQL server 8.4 state of wizard. Let's click on this next. I accept next. Let's click on complete and click on this install button. So click on this yes button and now installing MySQL server 8.4 version. So this is your status is there. So run MySQL configuration. So you need to check this one and after that let's click on this finish and click on this yes button so this is related with the configuration there so let's click on next 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 and here the root user password you need to give and if you want then you can add the user so let's give your username and this place give the password so after giving this all let's click on this ok and click on this next next yeah next and here you need your sample database so you need to select let's select your or secure and let's select what so two sample database going to create there so you must check this tools after that click on next and click on this execute so this is now applying the configuration there now you can see this all done here and it's successful let's click on this next and finish let's uh, in search box right there MySQL. So here you can see MySQL 8.4 command line. Click there. They need to give the root user password. So this come here. Server 8.40 community server that install. After that you can write any kind of key. The next is or uh, this place. So we need to download and install separately workbench. So let's go back. And here you can see. So let's so download the MySQL workbench. Here you can see this is for our different operating system. So Windows that's fine. And this here MySQL install MSI file. This is other thing. And here you can see MySQL workbench community this. So let's click on this download button. And let's click on this no thanks. And here you can see MySQL workbench that's completed here. Let's click on this MSI file. Click on OK. And now welcome to MySQL workbench setup. Click on next. Next complete install. Click on yes.
and now you can see wizard complete if you want then you can launch launch mysql workbench let's click on this finish so this is your workbench that's complete let's give click into this and give the root user password you can see this workbench that's come there. After that, you can go on this schema to selected Sakila and here word. And inside Sakila, you can see the different tables that's come there. Okay, so this is how we can install my SQL Community Server 8.40 LTS on Windows operating system as well as my SQL workbench. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.